South Korea is planning to make the Seoul metropolitan area home to what would be the world's biggest hub for making system chips. On top of that, President Yoon announces his push for further developing key high-tech sectors of building new industrial complexes nationwide. South Korea will establish 15 new high-tech industrial complexes nationwide, including what's expected to be the world's largest system semiconductor cluster in the Seoul metropolitan area. In an emergency economic policy meeting held on Wednesday, the South Korean government unveiled its plan to funnel 550 trillion won, equivalent to around 422 billion U.S. dollars of private money into major high-tech sectors by 2026. Chairing the meeting, President Yoon suk yeol expressed his determination to further develop cutting-edge industries. <laughs> 핵심 성장 엔진이자 안보 전략 자산이고 우리 일자리와 민생과도 직결되고 있습니다. 최근 반도체에서 시작된 경제 전쟁터가 배터리, 미래차 등 첨단 산업 전체로 확장되고 있고 the government plans to induce a total of $422 billion of private investment in six major high-tech sectors, including some $1.3 billion in robots and more than $70 billion in future cars. The central part of the initiative is to support private companies to invest some $340 trillion won, or about $260 billion, to construct the world's biggest system chip-making base. This will be in Yongin, Gyeonggi-do province, which is close to the capital, already housing more than 150 firms in the chip materials, parts and equipment industries. On top of this, 14 new cutting-edge industrial bases totaling 3,300 square meters will be built outside the capital region, including Daejeon, Daegu, Gwangju and Gangwon-do province for balanced regional development. Saying that what's important is speed, President Yoon urged the National Assembly to pass the bill to expand tax benefits for investment in high-tech industries as soon as possible.